Hello. Um, in this video, I'm going to explain resistance in relation to temperature when we're talking about um, currents and resistance, obviously. And um, basically, this video is just going to explain how, if you have a copper wire, um, how the temperature will affect the resistivity of um, that wire. So, for example, electrons trying to go through, if it's really cold, it'll have low resistance. If it's really hot, it has to make a further jump. It'll have a higher resistance because the atoms will be further spread apart. Um, so what I'm going to write here is uh, we have P, which is equal, or rho, sorry, is, which is equal to resistivity. And, um... The equation we're going to use for this is rho is equal to rho initial times 1 plus um, the temperature coefficient of resistivity, which is different for every material, um, times T minus T initial. For Ohm's law, this right here will be relatively constant. Um, for the most part, so we'll, you know, so V is equal to I R, you know, and, um, but for non Ohm's law, this plays an effect, and the, this is equal to the temperature coefficient, and that is equal to 1 over rho initial which is the resistivity, times the change in rho divided by the change in T. And um, the way this relates to resistance is R is equal to R initial, essentially, times 1 plus coefficient T temperature minus temperature initial and if you look at this graph, um, when we have uh, when we have this set up, um, we'll have this row initial, which is at temperature zero. Obviously, we can't get temperature to absolute zero. We can get very, very close, but not absolute zero. And the resistance will go up as, as almost an exponential function. But in um, when we're talking about uh, when we talk about semiconductors, um, temperature will play a larger effect on semiconductors than just through a copper wire by itself. Or when we're talking about a, when we're doing most uh, equations with just you know V is equal to I R, we're not going to have to deal with um, the temperature coefficient or anything like that. But when we're talking about semiconductors, we need to know the temperature coefficient so we can take the different energies involved and um, the resistances, stuff such as that. Um, this was just a quick overview, which I was trying to just go through real quick and help you understand what exactly is going on. Um, you can comment and I'll answer. Um, but the concept really isn't that much used in 101, 102 physics courses, from what I can tell. So I'm not covering it real well. Even in my 201 and 202 class, we did not really um, use this too much. Um, we used a different way of dealing with it, which I will go over later. And that is how power works in relation to this. And um, I thought that made it a lot easier anyways. But I'm just giving you a quick overview of uh, essentially as temperature goes, these gaps between these atoms increase so these electrons have a harder time jumping and that that coefficient of jumping um, is right there anyways thank you hope this helps feel free to comment or go on letter and suggest I make a new video which I'll be happy to do